Greetings, everybody. Welcome to the Zero Dark Tony Show. I am Tony D, your host. There it is right there in lights. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this out today. I'm little, letting a little natural light in today. Something luxurious. Speaking of luxury, luxury to lock up. Today, Anthony Ferrer's arrest by the FBI. This is a watch dealer. He has a big old YouTube channel. And he has been a very bad boy. Tony, you got a lot of splendid to do. Let's go. This is the dark side. You ready? This is Watchgate. Let's go. Greetings, everyone. Welcome. Hey, that's me. Let's Look go. at that. Let's Yo. go. I'm like an addict. Do Make sure you like habit. and share I mean, this video out. A really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet. Lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm, I'm a real big hitter. Big picture, uh, I'm a straight uh, killer. Uh, Rising the song uh, to the uh, highest uh, bidder. Uh, uh, got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. Got a great story here for you today, guys. Like, who's that? I'm new, come back better than last year. It's a new You're gonna like this one. It is related to SPTV. But not because they want it to be. You move slow when I move fast. And that's facts. Only I can make a change. I love a good hybrid story. I will never be the same. Dollar ninety nine memberships. Jump in. Tap in, the kids say. I've been chewed up, spit out, torn apart. And that's facts. Only I can make a change. Slowly take a step today. I will never be the same. Cause that's what it takes. Right, everybody, welcome once again to the show from the pineapple to the big apple from Maine to Spain. We are going to do it once again here on the Zero Dark Tony channel because that's what we do. We got breaking stories. They are related this evening to not only SPTV, but something that I like to call Watchgate. Welcome to what I call the dark side, guys. And this is, again... Something that happened online. This originated online. This is a guy by the name of Anthony Ferrer. All right. Um, he was once celebrated for his keen eye in luxury, luxury watches. And his role in putting together their, we're going to look at their YouTube channel. It's called Timepiece Gentleman. Almost 90,000, right? Nine, almost 90,000 subscribers. Um the arrest 
unfolded in the upscale environs in um, Beverly Hills, which is a stark contrast to the glamour and opulence that initially defined his reputation. He ends up in those metal, pretty metal bracelets that, uh, that get uh, served up so close together. <laughs> So when you look at Anthony Ferrar, Ferrer, whatever, look, Ferrer, Ferrer, Ferrero, uh, you know, jail, bird, how about we call it that? Journey into the world of luxury watches, right? It took a dark turn with the allegations orchestrating a $3 million Ponzi scheme. Now, we're going to get into some of that right now. Greetings, greetings, everyone, everyone, greetings, greetings. And we are going to flip, let me take you to the other side. See, I always forget to do this part. Hi there, that's me again. Hi, I'm the guy. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this crazy little filter. And I'm going to uh, do a little something here, a little magic. And you're going to see the article here. But I am actually going to start with the article from... The United States <laughs> Attorney's Office. And, you know, the thing about this is I don't remember if, if people are um, have a short memory or a long memory, but I would hope that it would be a long memory and you would remember when um, these folks said that I should be reported to the DOJ. And lo and behold, one of their guys, right, is unfortunately being written up by the DOJ. And when I say one of their guys, I mean an associate. We did this video the other day where, where we saw old Tommy Scoville, Tommy Karate, Tommy Zigzag, Tommy uh, Bots, Tommy Boom Bots, Tommy Donuts, Tommy Pickles, uh, you know, Tommy Rizzo, Tommy Zoom, Tommy, uh, you know, Tommy Stringbean, Tommy Flacco. He's got a lot of nicknames. Tommy Tugger. Oh, that Tugger. Tugger, Tugger. Anthony Ferrer, a Tugger. Well, we'll get to him. He might like uh, he might like a little extra, you know, on the tip. So here we have the press release directly from the U.S. Attorney's Office. And the headline is, Founder of Beverly Hills Gentleman Timepiece's consignment store charged with conning victims in luxury watch Ponzi-type scheme. All right? And everybody knows who Ponzi was. Ponzi was the guy in Happy Days. He would hit the... Is that... Oh, that's Fonzie. So sorry, I read that wrong. Fonzie. It's a Fonzie scheme. Okay. So anyway, Los Angeles, a Los Angeles man who previously operated a business in Beverly Hills known as Gentleman Timepiece appeared in court this afternoon after his arrest Tuesday by FBI agents on charges of defrauding customers of his luxury watch consignment business. Anthony Farrer, 35 who until recently lived in downtown Los Angeles was charged in federal criminal in a federal criminal complaint Monday with wire fraud, a felony that carries a statutory minimum of 20 years in federal prison. Holy shit. Tommy. Now this is the guy who Tommy comes on the other day. He's all delirious and uh, biz bats and zappity zooped and freaking all loopy. But we caught on my video him saying, this is a guy I did business with. But then, no, he, he, uh, I just bought one watch from him. I, I bought a, I bought a, and you know the, the feeling you get about somebody that you just want to get away from him? That's the feeling I had. Well, bro, then why did you buy the watch from him? He's in trouble. And what if, oh my God, what, now this is possible. I'm not saying that it is, but is it possible that Tommy might have sold himself a fakey watch and took the guy's word for it. And now Tommy's in deep, deep. Come on, come on, come on, come on now. Touch me, babe. 
Can't you see that I won't take your watch? Ooh, scotchy, scotchy, scotch. <laughs> Ron Burgundy always gets in the song. All right. Brett and Kurt made a little field trip to Mexico. What the fuck is going on here? All right. What in the royal freaking bag of fucking dicks is happening in this place? I mean, come on, people. Pull it together. Pull it together. Pull it together. You know? <sighs> you know, it's it's just gotten to the point where I, it's like I need a I need um I need a I need something. I need something. I think I need this. Nobody bakes a cake as tasty as a tasty cake. Nobody bakes a cake as tasty as a tasty cake. Nobody bakes a cake as tasty as a tasty cake. Nobody bakes a cake as tasty as a tasty cake. Mm -mm. Look, it's true. I don't know where you are from, but nobody bakes a cake as tasty as a tasty cake. <laughs> He's got the uh, world's mayor. Josh has, a, has the munchies. Go give him a sub, too. Um, so, you know, you see, this is a big problem for these guys. Now, this article here I'm going to drop in the chat. Everybody in the chat gets a little of this and a whole lot of that. Don't be surprised if you hit it with a bat. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get this link on. There we go. Mm -hmm. Chad love cake. Chad love cake. So here we go. So now this is a guy that Tommy Scoville, Brett Miller, uh, did business with. And, you know, this is just what it is. It's not, there's no bagging on anybody here. This is the facts. He admitted it. This is his guy. This is a guy who's looking at 20 fucking years in federal prison for wire fraud. Wow. Wow. That's a lot of, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a spicy meat the ball. Let's go to his YouTube channel. Now I've dropped that link in there so that you guys can go and read it yourself. That is the official documentation from the Department of Justice that they said I should be reported to. <laughs> and here it is. Their associates on a fucking justice department document is that karma or what you guys want to talk about karma i think that's karma chad has seen the light of jesus he's you know don't be mean to chad if you if if you can't help it but if anybody wants to kick chad in the nuts let jane go first because she's scottish and they're good at that stuff they throw hammers and things you know like a lot of hammers they throw you know i'm kidding i'm kidding so here is the look at this 87 Point eight k subscribers, 11 videos. Imagine how many people would count on this guy for their watches, right? So let's look at the latest video that he did. Oh, oh, he's one of these guys. This is my last video on YouTube guy. Oh, I get it. <clears throat> Give me a five by five if you could hear him. All right, guys. So day six video, here it is. Um, yesterday I posted day five and within an hour or two, I made the video private because somebody I was going to go work with and partner with got a lot of blowback for trying to step in and you know, take a chance at helping me fix my mess. Uh, I told them that they we're going to get a lot of negative feedback. So this is the guy. This is Anthony Ferrer from Timepiece Gentleman. This is in Beverly Hills, California. Not, that in itself has a stigma. You look at that and you go, hey, quality, right? Uh, reputation, legacy, you know, things like that. The, 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 um, the uh 
you know, the things, the foundation. The fa- it's a foundation. It's a, it's, a, it's a foundation. So this he's saying this is his last video on YouTube. And he is talking about fixing the mess that he's in. You know, a lot of negativity directed towards them. And I don't think they realized what they were getting themselves into. So I completely respect that decision, but that's no longer going to be a part. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to be headed back to LA and I haven't a hundred percent made the commitment yet. I'm almost there though, but I think that it's just time I get out of this industry and move on to the next. So, you know, I've caused a lot of, uh, negative, um, <laughs> I brought a lot of negative unwanted attention to this industry. And for those that are actually involved in it, I apologize, guys. Uh, for those of you that I still owe money. I'm and you know, this is another one of these guys that comes out here. And when you, and when you do this, right? When you come on this platform on YouTube, like this mother effer right here, this piece of garbage scum who's coming on here and he made all this money on this platform. And look at this, 87,000.8 people no longer trust anybody on YouTube, okay? The loss isn't this guy. The loss is not this guy. The loss is the fidelity, right? The loss is the fidelity between the audience and the creator. And I'm not, I'm not effing around when I say this. When people grift, you know, you, you, you must, you must uh, make a shift. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, it ruins the whole ecosystem, and people don't have the foresight to understand that. See these gray hairs in my beard? All right? They're there for a reason. Put a one in the chat if you see what I see when it comes to this. Right? This is damaging to people who just want to get on like me and just have some people get their super chats and their, and their gifted memberships. That shit's fun. Right? You know, but this guy ruins the public trust. And it's disgusting. And it's something that we can't have. You know, this is another one of these negative vibrational episodes that happen online that people get sucked into. And the problem is, is everybody's so wound up on watches. Did I say wound up on watches? <laughs> I am serious, right? I'm serious. So welcome to the dark side, everybody. It's, it's all right. It's, you're safe here. Everybody get them a blanket and some hot chocolate. All right? Get them a blanket and some hot chocolate. And, uh, and, 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 and uh, check them for weapons, please. <laughs> just, just you're going to have to go through a little search. It's all right. But this, <laughs> they all wound up on watches. That, clip it. So... Everybody having that materialistic side, they want to look like something that they're not. People can go get these watches and they can't afford them, you know? They go buy these luxury items to impress people that don't give a shit whether they have one or not. And the people that do care if you have one on are probably trying to steal it. All right? So, you know, I've had a couple nice watches in my time, but I don't care about them. Not anymore. Thanks for checking in, chat. Thanks for checking in the chat, chat. All right, chat is a trad. Chat is a trained ninja. He's a ninja man. He is the man. He is the Beverly Hills ninja. Um, so anyway, there is some real estate available in Beverly Hills, ladies and gentlemen, and it is, <laughs> the lease is probably up for this guy. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Might have to go take a look and uh, see what he's got going. Let's hear more. I'm still not, you know, I'm still not running from that. I still plan on paying that debt. Uh, but moving forward, as well as my, my actual clients, you guys that I'm speaking with on a daily basis, you know, I'm not hiding and I'm not running from that debt. I'm still doing everything I can to pay for it. But it's obvious, it's apparent that there's a large community out there that doesn't want that to happen. They would rather me end my life, end up in prison, do whatever it takes to not be able to pay you guys back. 
I'm, I'm not going that route. I'm not going to succumb to the pressure. I, you know, my phone does not stop ringing all day long uh, to the point where I've actually got another number. And uh, any of my clients that are out here watching, I've reached out to about a third of you guys. Um, I'm going to get to the rest of you in the next day or so, and I'm going to give you my new number. And, you know, I'm considering deleting social media, getting getting off and just, you know, it's... it's just oh, honey, let me tell you something. Uh, well, how long ago was this? Three months ago? In about three months, bud, you, you are not going to have to worry about your social media, I guarantee you. I guarantee you ever again, as if a judge is going to uh, let him on. Uh, let's see, does he want people to feel sorry for him? Sounds like it. Sounds like it. Sounds like it. Yeah, well, you know, it's all right. It's everybody's welcome here. And this, if everybody's just polite in the chat, you know, I'm fine. You know, it doesn't matter. Let them, we'll let everybody come by. You know, if Karen or Jeffrey are watching, which they are, well, they should just jump in the chat and say hello and say something, you know? And, uh, you know, make me an offer I can't refuse. Oh, I need the Godfather music. All right, back to uh, this Chad. It's just apparent that I can't, I can't. I'm a can't watch giga move. Chad. Um, the people that are directly involved, we've been in good contact. We've had good conversations on the phone and I'm, I'm doing, you know, you guys understand that I'm doing what I can uh, with what I have to try and make it whole and try and make it right. But there's just me being here on social media, me broadcasting my moves, talking about you know, all I did was really say that uh, I needed uh, I needed another watch. I needed something to uh, really sink my teeth into, something to trade, something to really put my soul behind. <laughs> Who I'm with, where I'm at. It's just, it's causing problems for people that it doesn't need to when they're my problems. And I just don't want that for anybody. So, uh, like I said, I'm not 100% sure, but by tomorrow I will be. I will have made my mind up. I've got a couple more people I want to talk to, but I'm, I'm, I'm possibly, possibly getting out of this industry for good and going to go look for something else. Cause it's just gotten to now, now to the point where even trying to make this right, it's not fun. Obviously the situation that I've created is not a fun situation, but even, even every attempt that I make to try to fix it or make it right is being scrutinized and it's being pushed back against and people, like I said, I go, you know, I have a dealer reach out or a jeweler reach out willing to help and kind of, you know, help me turn this situation around. Now they get negative press. They get negative um, blowback, people blowing the store up and stuff like that for, for nothing. Like I'm trying to fix the situation. Um, bro, you ripped. People are very passionate about watches. And this guy jacked a bunch of people for watches. And he's like, I don't know. Why don't they, why don't they like me? <laughs> what? It's just, you know, it's to the point where whatever move I make next, it's going to be done in silence. And I know first thing people are going to say is that I committed to making a video a day and I was going to do that. But for some reason, we're some, good. Somehow I don't think that me posting a video here every day, sitting behind a wall that nobody can recognize and just telling you I'm doing something's not going to be enough. I feel like the best move I can make for the people that are actually involved and to actually give me a fighting chance at fixing this is to take whatever jobs I can get um, and just do it in silence. Oh, that's his buzzing. That's talking what the about fuck who I'm working was. with, what I'm doing. I'm not even going to come on here and talk about who I'm paying. The people that are owed money, I'll contact them directly. At this point, I just don't think it's anybody's business anymore, you know, and not to say that. And before you go, I just want you to know I have a 30% off special for uh any for any of the richard mill and uh hey what do we got here what was that what was that is that a sub is that a sub hold on gotta check gotta check gotta check 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 see where we're at this and with that and then call it because i'm colorblind and that just totally got lost in the thing and that's okay. Uh, let's see. What was the app? Ah, we got a new sub. Alice. Adam Zizik. I like that. Adam Zizik. Adam Zizik. At the Polska. 
Polska, I said. Looks like to me, it looks like it might be Polska. I'm going to play that again. See, there we go. That's the ninja. I know everybody loves the ninja. Everybody loves the ninja. I'm going to look at this motherfucker out of here. Okay. So thank you so much for the new sub. I really do appreciate it. Gives me warm, fuzzy nubbins. Mmm, like it. Haters or the all the negative attention is getting to me. It's just affecting everyone that I try to come in contact. It's making it to where nobody, even the people that want to help me out or give me a job or give me an opportunity to make money, they're going to deal with blowback. And I don't. Well, you um, again, you, young man, <laughs> young man, you have destroyed lives. dude. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't want anyone to deal with that. Um, for the supporters out there, guys, you know, I've gotten all the messages. I've gotten the texts. I appreciate that. You know, I, I'm keeping my head up to the best of my ability. I'm going to keep pushing through this as hard as I can. And like I said from the beginning, I'm going to ride this shit till the end and make best on what I can while I can. So for everyone out that's there that's what we're worried about involved, you know, reach out to me on my cell phone, shoot me a text. I'll share my new number. Um, I've taken my God number damn it. Offline. This is I'm not my, my that is one. not my. I'm phone most it's likely I'm going to deactivate all of my social media accounts uh, except my main Instagram, which is the Instagram handle at Anthony. And if someone's got something, if they want to get a hold of me, just message me there. And when I get to it, I'll get to it. Uh, but I'm going to be very, I'm going to be very private from now going from now on. Going How the forward. fuck did he get it's that? The only option I have without, you know, me still trying to work and bring in income without giving someone the opportunity to screw that up or jeopardize it however they can. Because, you know, I came out here with a, for what was gonna be a good opportunity and now I'm headed back. So it's another blow to the, to the, to the plan, but hey, you know, that door closed. Now I'm gonna look for the next open one. I've got, I've talked to a few people about social media consultant. I've got a few trips planned next week where I'm gonna go meet some people and just do whatever job I can Thank get. you, DJ Williams. Um, Ava Joy Porter's Rock, thank you for the five dollar oh super chat. The phone just doesn't stop, but, uh, Holy smoke! You again, are appreciated. There that are Keep along, being you and calling uh, and things out as they are. You know, Thanks. I'm going to be moving in silence, but I'm still going to be moving. Oh, I appreciate that. Direct contact. I love your, the your voice chats. Let me your... let me see if I could run that one again, because that is a first TTS that we have heard here. Very much appreciate it. Oh, five dollar super chats. We love, there you we go. Are appreciated. Keep being you and calling things out as they are. Thanks. Thank you very much. And there you go, you guys. That's it. That's the uh, TTS um, uh, text to speech chatty chats. I just played it back there for you so you can hear it again from my dashboard. We appreciate that. You're in contact with me and you're one of the ones that are actually affected. I'm going to stay in contact with you as much as you like. We His phone vibrating that. is driving so me nuts. Shoot me a text. Vibrating, Follow vibrating. Follow me on Instagram, at Anthony. But after today, most of my social media is probably going to go away, and that'll be the only way to get a hold of me if you don't have my direct new number. So, guys, sorry the videos didn't play out, but I just can't, I just can't risk anybody else getting, you know, getting bashed or Okay, harassed. so we're going to check back here and look at this a little more here. So this is three months ago, three months ago, his road to redemption. How I'm going to solve my $5 million debt is one of his videos. I finally hit rock bottom. Betting 100000 on black in Vegas from two years ago. Here is his, oh, we got a little rise and fall story here, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Looks like we got ourselves a little rise and fall, a little R and F arc that we can get into. So, man, I'll tell you what, this guy is in some deep shit. Deep, deep doo doo. So, what do you guys think? You gonna buy a watch from this guy? You gonna let this guy come in there and uh, get this watch action from you? I don't know where to put the chat. I don't know where to put the chat box. I think I gotta shrink it down. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do to me? It's gotta be a different shape. It's gotta be a different shape. 
this chat box. I gotta fix the chat box. Fix the chat box. Fix the chat. I'll just put it right here like that for now, so that it doesn't. I can't. I can't be covering up the brand, baby. So you know, I think um, when you look back at a guy like this, and he's got the Lamborghinis, he's got the lifestyle. And really, that's what it's all about for a lot of people. They forget. It's very easy to become intoxicated by this kind of ability to self-soothe with whatever you want at whatever time, right? And we are definitely going to have to review that video. You know what? Okay, here's what we're going to do. Do you guys want to stream snipe them? Put a one in the chat if you want to do a quick stream snipe. What channel are they on? Rinder? Yes, there's one one. I need to see more than that. <laughs> okay. Everybody wants to do a little stream, so everybody was kung fu sniping. All right. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Mike Rinder. Okay, is everybody ready to go say hello? And, uh, you know, I want everybody to ask questions. I don't want anybody to be shy. Don't be shy. What's wrong? Uh, let's go back a second here. Mark Rinda. Here. Gotta get them dollars. Say what? Get what? Gotta get them dollars. Gotta get them dollars. Gotta get them dollars. Low money is better than no money. Cause even with low money, you can still grow money. Yes, sir. Low money is better than no money. Cause even with low money, you can still grow money. Yes, sir. Gotta get them dollars. Gotta get them dollars. Gotta get them dollars. Gotta get them dollars. Baby, you gotta eat, get money. get money. New shoes for your feet, get money. Get money. You want a sense and a piece, get money. get money. You want a party with the freaks, get money. get money. I get money, get money, get money. Get money. I make great skies turn real sunny. So sunny. In the flash, gotta get that cash. Get, get that cash, get, get that cash. Yo, gotta get that guap, gotta get that fast. Gotta pay myself first and the bills go last. Go and get more by working smart. Made my money work for me for spoken art. Man, I'm going in the booth with an open heart, blowing is off the chart, go to my soul depart, wait, how much money can save that, wait out of state, get your money made back, that's time, oh that's fine, oh what you thought that was a drug punch line, well I didn't see that coming, get your legal money too, uh -huh. it's all legal when the rent's past due, it's money over stress, stressing over money, get you nothing but depressed, nothing but upset, it's something you gotta get, you hustle on the side just to do it for a check, gotta stay fly but it got me in the debt, the grind in my blood with the tears and the sweat, sweat. Huh. got it in my pocket right now, Hare right, Krishna, praise the cash cow, and God we trust, it's all C&I, got his sight on us, holy smoke, look at this, God we trust, all C and I got his sight on us. Low money is better than no money. Cause even with low money, you can still grow money. Yes, sir. Low money is better than no. All right, hold on here. Does look like they're having a rough one. Some people just said bye. Another great Scientology acronym. Look at this standing chat. for back on the level. Because there are so many people who started solo knots. And then ended up not having the money to be able to continue, being sent off for some sort of supposed ethical transgression. Wow, look at this. Uh, lost interest. Wow, uh, look became, at this chat. Uh, dissatisfied and bailed. Look at that. Look at this in the chat. I'm sitting here watching the Aftermath Foundation delete the words of their community, the ones who fundraise for them. I mean, absolutely wild. Holy shit. Osa doesn't need to get giddy over this drama. Keep it classy, chat. That's fine. Mark is the guy from Thailand. What's going on here? O-L. And they had to be gotten back on the level. And he said no matter how much pressure, threats, 
ethics handlings were demanded of the FSO executives, they could never get it. They could never get that number oh, okay, below thirty percent. And the, I had it in the pop out. Doesn't even include the people who are dead or declared. Mm -hmm. So the number of people on. on solo knots, if they had ten thousand, which they probably don't, would be, in fact. Because of the people who are not actually auditing on solo nuts, even though they count as being on it. There we go. Or they are dead or they have been declared. So that was kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and they've been doing this. Look at how, look at Mike's nuts. face. They had this 10,000 target since the 1980s, I think, is when they first. Remember, came whoa. Out with, we need this X amount of people. Look at this chat. But um, over shit. the years, it's always, they either have to have all the I, all, all the organ Scientology organizations. Oh my God, they hate it. Have to become St. Hill size. All of them have to become ideal organizations. 10,000 people need to be on the level. A level. David Miscavige just oh keeps my God. making up new. Um, goal. He just makes up new <laughs> This is a brawl. What's going to then be the thing that they release? Oh, my God. Put a one in the chat if you see we this. We know from working at the international headquarters, there is no OT9 and 10. So there's never going to be. Listen to the these F tards fucking sit here, right? Blown for good down 1,300 subs today. Mike over 1K. Wow. How about uh, uh, growing up in Scientology? Oh, this is a big hit. Oh, this is great. Oh, I am. I am so pleased, ladies and gentlemen. I can't tell you how pleased I am. There is always a new target because the last target failed miserably. Oh, wow. And, uh, they need a new target no matter what. Yep. Yeah. And and um, like, you, like I said at the beginning, we're out here in Colorado to spend Thanksgiving with the Headleys and... There are some other people coming. We're going to have a great Thanksgiving. Yes. But when we get together, we always end up like like these discussions that we have. Are... I have a feeling that it's not going to go so great this year. I don't color me crazy, but I feel like it ain't going to go so great this year. Do da, do da. Ain't going to go so great this year. Oh, the do da day. When we were eating dinner, I guess, yesterday, and <laughs> this topic came up that. How did that come up originally, Mark? There was something. I'll let Mark fuck my wife. <laughs> I'm gonna let Mark fuck my wife so I can get a little get it on with the old hammerhead. Cause I love that hammerhead. Prison said this is I was in prison and this is a lot like being in it sounds like what you're talking about is a lot like being in prison, except for we got um more time off or Well look at Fire Truck. Does Mike have any inside information? Said, uh, Prison on the cover-up of the Danny and, Masterson and incident, he was head of OSA at the time, sort of should make an excellent video and do uh, lots of damage uh, to COS. A fake Navy. Wow, sort look of. at that. That's what we call it. Look at that. Fake Fire Navy. truck. Awesome. But, um, we don't like to compare ourselves wow. to somebody Wow, they are, look at the looks on their faces. The military of any country. <laughs> because we were in a fake cult Navy. <laughs> But um, so when they said prison, I said, well, it's probably safer to compare being in the Sea Org to exactly prison. I'll bet those offices they're in are paid for by our donations. Apollo Mandos, get Apollo prison. Mandos and, over and here. I wasn't in a cult. We I, need I Apollo Mandos. I, I don't even <laughs> but, care. Um, I don't so care if he is a Scientologist in, in, himself, in okay? I just like his name. I need someone here. We need someone named Apollo Mandos, okay? This is... Hear ye, hear ye. Whoever knows Apollo Mandos, get him over here. I know I saw that fire truck. You did great over there, mate. Thank you so much. You get a shout out, a horn, a snare, and got him. And it got him. Get the whole pack. Look at that. So that was awesome. That was awesome. Aaron has never spoken bad of you. Well, that's not exactly right. Moderators, honestly, the message deleting is the opposite of what you should do. If someone is rude, let them be rude and good people judge them for it. Oh, I love this. Get me Apollo uh, man, 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 Mandos. Man, man, I need a dose of uh, Apollo, man. I need him. Um, I, I want him. A lot of days what off, did I say? That is 
from the people that we've talked to and the stories that we've told, that seems like the most appropriate analogy to the Sea Org. They hate yes. them. It is ana ana analogous. Analogous. This is a lot of votes for Aaron, analogous. I guess. Analogous to a prison. Or maybe yeah. not votes well, for Aaron, but just they when don't you're in prison, like these guys. There's some, you've got some extra benefits that we didn't have in the Sea Org. True. Like, like, like anal? Sleep. You wanted, for example. <laughs> Butt sex. <laughs> or you could watch TV. Or you could call your write a letter to a family member. Or Why is he so close? And where is Christine Rinder um, von uh, um, von for Tang for Tang uh, Winchester? You definitely. I think I, I'm not sure about holiday meals, but <laughs> thirty minutes. Yes, I I gotta say, Racy, this is what I predicted. Put a one in the chat if you uh, remember that this all happening now is exactly what I predicted would happen. Just, uh, you know, oh, there's Catherine Olsen who tried to get nasty with me. And, uh, hey, yeah. Look at her. A, yeah, Catherine Olsen on the, the sinking ship, before. Catherine. <laughs> you pig, pig, <laughs> pig ass. Yeah. You can yeah. two cigarettes after, after eating. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's, yeah, that's why I I always like to focus look at this Anthony this Spurgeon week on the very many that's things hilarious have to be thankful for no matter what. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Do we have that? Oh, the other thing I wanted to show. Do you, can I show this right here? Well, look at this. How oh, much did Aaron raise for you? Twenty one grand, one yeah. and you didn't tell him about the secret going. meetings well, that you had pushing him out. Yeah, wow. We think of other things about the. Uh, about the prison thing but they wow look at them they are their faces are red they are tr they are trying to <laughs> uh... okay hey but they would take taxes i know them. right mm -hmm. so i'm colorblind and they look beet red look at mark's freaking forehead look at he's sweating he's wiping sweat from his head Mark is losing his little Reese's peanut butter cup shit. Coming from him. Where is it Reese's going? We're going to do a video where we lay all that out. But one of the stable things in the C organization for at least since the 90s. That's right, Racine. Get your refunds. Okay? Now does everybody see about the refunds? Now everybody is, is anybody going to say anything about the refunds? Claire, you filthy whore. Can't stand her. Upset about something that happened there. You know, the thing is, she can look at two screens at once. She's got two screens going right there. And she's right on both of them at the same time, which is a very, you know, not everybody could do that. Look at her. Look at her. See, that's two screens. Two, two, two screens. That's why they're not sitting in the same room with her. She's got the screens like here, right? And now they're going to talk Cake. about more. Oh, my goodness. Of the Fort Harrison Hotel in Clearwater, Florida. Now, I don't know if you guys know a lot about cakes and how much they cost to make and, and how complicated they are. No, why don't you tell us, gay boy? They are. I would guess to me. <laughs> why don't you prance around? A few hundred Sea Org members could have gotten paid a week's pay or a bonus of 50 bucks instead of having this cake made. <clears throat> well, you know what? But guess the, what? But they spent the money on the cake. That's right. And I'm sure that because somebody fuck the might have members. some of this cake. It probably wasn't a lot of Sea Org members that got to dig into this thing. I bet Actually, a lot of Sea Org members didn't get paid or eat the week they made this cake. And then they put it out in front of all of them in the middle. And they go, you know what? Go ahead and touch it. Sitting there right now, Yeah. They nobody is going to touch that thing until uh, the chairman of the board returns to Clearwater. So that they can display it for him, yeah, and he can comment on the wondrous beauty of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that point, they may chop it up and give it to people who are paying for food in the restaurants. But I, I, you know, I don't really know, but I do know that that is an an absurd thing, either for Sea Org members to spend their time. You know what they actually do is they take a piece of that cake and they make them all line up and they just run it down the line and they just hold it right under their nose. <laughs> just right under everybody's nose. I remember when they got cake. And there it is. Yeah. Is Aaron going to return? Absolutely not. Giving week in Clearwater. Yeah. Uh, I think Aaron might be in a little bit of trouble with this Tommy Scoville watch thing. I don't, I don't know what gives me a feeling about that, but... I think, uh, oh, look at this. This Aaron thing is not going away. 
Ooh, Danny's in there. Carl H. Fire truck. Holy smoke. You are getting at it. Don't, don't uh, you know. Mike, did you audit? Karen. Wow. Oh, you guys are awesome. Get in there. Who need <laughs> assistance and that they have used. They've spent a whole I also of I also gave money by um, buying a mug. I bought one of those Goldie mugs that Mike Rind it was going to Mike Rinder's thing. Uh, and, you know, so I have every right to ask these questions. I have every right to suggest a refund. I have put my own dollar bills into this. Go ahead and try and bring me into a courtroom, you stupid fucking idiots. You're so dumb. These people are so dumb. That's why this is happening, because they're dumb. It's not because Aaron got some conduct thing. It's because I wiped the squad. Just admit it. Come out with it. You can't even admit it. Um, did you want to talk about this, um, this other guy? Yeah. Yeah, there was something else that came in this week, which was a a reference that was made to something announced at the IAS event last week in the UK. Oh, and Christ. this uh, got the Scientologists all in a big tiz. Oh, MJ because, Peters, I have unsubscribed. Um, David wow. He announced and showed pictures of this guy, Marshall Falk. And for those of you, you can bring out that first one, Matt. Yeah. For those of you who don't know who Marshall Falk is, Marshall Falk was a running back in the NFL. He was a very good one. He is very well known. Um, he's, you know, it was 10 years ago or something that he was last playing in the NFL. He's not a current, you know, this, this is this is not Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. This wow. Is not, they Some do not like what's going on here. Can you guys Kelsey, see the chat? But he is a, a well-known guy. and You could he, also pull up another um, window if you're on a laptop. Has gotten Don't leave my window. Roped into Don't leave me. Drug-free world. <laughs> a, you know, and here it is right on their website. Foundation for a Drug-Free World. A special gift to you from NFL legend Marshall Falk. And this is what they really Scientology are. Look at all these people do. now. They Look at all these people. Wrote, Look at this this absolute rage that they have for this. Look at this chat is horrifying for them. They don't know what to do. Look at their faces. These people are sh uh, 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 uh. you shook me all night Mr. long. To educate people, Look at her. She's not even uh, paying so attention. She's looking at the go, chat. Okay, well, I agree with that. She's and looking I'll at participate. the chat. She's well, looking at the chat. I mean, I think she's looking at the chat. I can't. She's looking at the chat on two screens, four screens at once she could look at. This event, and he's considered, this is Thank the you. Scientologists all getting all in a lather about this. Go to the next one. And, and they know, don't they talk about their chat. Of Marshall Falk with they some don't guy address the questions like, of oh, their yeah, community. They have been completely ignoring. When I think of Aftermath, I think Mike Rindergrift. Carl H., what are you doing over there? Amanda, Apollo Mandos, they don't have any mods. They don't have any mods. Holy shit. They don't have any mods. Are you guys stupid with me lurking around when this happening? You're not going to have any mods? Inside, at guys, least everybody go. Everybody go. That apparently David Miscavige everybody. had a picture of. And go say hello. At the IAS go event. ask questions. Now's so, the time. This has gone so what you've been waiting a for a step further and so what everybody's been waiting for now get, is the time in a lather about on the order of magnitude of the 70s when John Brody was the spokesperson for Dianetics selling DMSMH was as easy as I'm going to put the link in the chat at the state fair as a result way back when. I'm here. I'm well, there. I'm over here now. So easy <laughs> no, there's the link. To differ. Especially <laughs> it's not... <laughs> not with Google available and uh, yeah, many but other this... answers to what is Scientology and what is yeah. Dianetics. Claire, you are exactly. you are dumb so as a bag of them, dog biscuits. Uh, getting all excited. I Fire truck. I just wanted to, know to what's bring going this on. to. Uh, they don't know how to kick people out of the chat. <laughs> Being called out for deleting super chats. Yeah. Yeah. Way right. Of communicating to him and can inform him that he is now being used oh, as a poster child for Scientology. I've, I've heard and there's a cure for stage four esophageal cancer here. 
and is now Anna, being nice. perceived by Scientologists. Oh, that's beautiful. As then you spokesperson, just like John Brody was. Hey, Claire, you look you so dumb know, right now. John Brody. I got to tell you, this is NFL horrible. Player back in the 70s for the San Francisco 49ers, I think, who became a Scientologist. And he did speak on behalf of Scientology. Yeah. He was yeah. They don't have any mods, guys. There's the, the link. School. He would come to the school all the time. John Brody would. I can't tell you what to okay. say or not say, but so, if you wanted ever to make a comment, now would be the time. Is, I think that is too. Yeah. I, I like I said. Because obviously they don't have mods right now. Important. If there is someone out there, they that don't has know how to way kick people. Reaching Marshall Falk, please give him the accurate information and let him know that he is being used, probably without his knowledge at this point, as a as a figure. For Scientology, so I would be hope someone knows. Yeah, yeah, t totally. Hopefully, he. Uh, wakes they're gonna up and they're gonna does cut a it soon. Bit of research and realizes that they are just Scientology is using. They can't him, hang with this um, and trying to uh, use him to their advantage, which is never a good look for anybody. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I did see there are. Um, let me see. Well, we have a lot of super chats, uh, super stickers. Heather Carr, thank you. Another one from Heather Carr. Thank you, Heather. Um, uh, whatever. Mrs. Heather, yeah, what's up, girl? Mrs. T. Heather. Rush. Hey, Heather Carr. Guys, not to stooping to low blows. We're not, guys, literally. If if we, I don't even know how to, I don't even, uh, Osa would love for us to tell you every little thing that happened behind the scenes, guys. Osa would love that. If we do that, it will, it will, it, it's not going to, it's going to be amazing for Osa and it's not going to, it's not going to be good for anybody else besides Osa. So oh, okay. Except it, for the audience. I, 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 I'm. And it'll be uncomfortable for you. to say because it, the, for the, there's not a team here. Like if you're on this team, or you're on that team, we're all on team Exposed Scientology. Yep. And that's the team we're trying to stay on. If, if someone wants us to be on Team Mark or Team Mike or Team Claire, or that's not the wow. teams that we've picked. That's not the team. And Philip says team, Mike called us stupid. And, so. get, wow. and get people out of Scientology. Mike called us stupid. Out. That's yeah. it. Right. That's wow. why we're here. That's why we use our time. Swallow, uh, Mike. Not during our day jobs to expose Scientology. And this guy doesn't even have a sore throat. I know. It's always OSA. And speaking yeah. for myself, I've done hundreds and hundreds of hours of that Thank you, absolutely Jean. nothing except that i know it's the right thing to do yeah anyway so i know there's a lot of people that Thank are sending you. super chats now to get us to say something That's we're right. not gonna we're not gonna throw anybody under the bus if you nope. want well, you got to answer questions responsibility as members of a board to make the best decisions for the board there's eight members of the board the eight members of the board vote on things that happen. Get them all on. No votes took place in secret. No things were secret. Everything was in the open. So Aaron's the lying. Board. Is that what you're saying? What the board decided on any of the things that the board has decided. So there was they're saying that Aaron's put a one in the chat if they're saying so, that Aaron is lying um, with this statement. you've heard or whatever you think you've heard, um, that... It never happened. There was, uh -oh. it wasn't, it did, wasn't a thing. They so, just called him a liar. There's e email documentation of absolutely everything. Yeah. And so we wow. have receipts. So we're, we know we're on the right side of this. You have receipts. Where'd you learn that? Anyone you else is on the wrong fuck. side because nope. that would be the very thing that we're trying not to do. <laughs> yeah. It's not why we're here. Oh. Not why we're here. Citizen Cones, super sticker. Thank you, Citizen Thank Cone. you. Um, Peace Dog. Peace Dog's a frequent flyer here on all Peace the channels. They're only going to take the positive ones. Being professional, keep up the great work you They're do. only going to take the positive ones. That's what we're going to do. Um, and like we said, we wish the very best for everybody who has has had the backbone to stand up and speak out against Scientology. It has never been easy. It never will be easy. And we wish anyone in, in this. She's such a lying best. sack of shit. Always. Exactly. And, and they finally and banned you. They finally figured it out. Acer 22. Bo beats. So disappointed in all of you. Yeah. In the chat, guys. 
Poor uh, the moderators are having to do a lot of heavy lifting tonight. <laughs> Free Zenu Project of Far Sex. Like, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it's Hello, not Free Osa. Free Zenu Project of Far Sec. Thank Ken's you for channel. Being this here. is about a foundation. Look at how apostate Alex future. goes in there and he simps with super chats, so they say something to him. So they say something about him. Pip pip cheerio. Scientology's got to go. You. They're not going to read all the chats, but that's a nice one. It never took place. Yep. And so, you're absolutely right. Valid point, and we couldn't agree with you more. And yes, everything that we no one spend deleting the anti Aaron comments is telling. Wow, will continue to be, and for very good reasons. So, so there yeah. you go. Exactly. There you go. There you go. Um, and don't ask right. any more uh, questions, or we're going to block person, you. Please address a when your code uh, was implemented. There was a, yeah a B. Number of board members were present out of total. All board members were present um, and voted on anything uh, that was done. And so a Aaron was code. there that, during the um, vote. By the way, that happened. Um, well, I'm that, not. Gonna, yeah, we're not going to get into we're, that. We're just not going to get into a debate about yeah. these. Yeah, things. because you yeah. just got Look, caught lying. We have all had a code of what we think is the right thing to do since day one of leaving Scientology, and we have all operated on the basis of we want to help people. Oh, yeah? How about all the families that you harmed, and Mike Rinder? We have all tried kidnapped. to stay Lit their house uh, focused on, on that fire and not go into... Does Marilyn know that Mike ordered houses to be lit on fire? Does Marilyn know that? Because Marilyn should know that. Awesome. Uh, Luz Kenyon, thank you for the super sticker. Look at Bo Beats, all um, ca all caps. Maria, we are the supporters. You, sorry, blessings to we Bo. deserve thank answers. You, Don't mess with it. Bo Beats. Uh, Bo Beats is, is vicious. Oh, my God. <laughs> looks way better than the actual building. Oh, my goodness. Bo Beats is not to be effed rush. with. Um, Don't play with Bo Beats. I will tell you that right oh, now. Awesome. I had hoped this emergency broadcast would be about the Scientology <laughs> kink. You guys delivered as always. I know. That's what we thought. Ozone. We were trying to get the scoop on this cake Thank thing. you. Thank you for bringing comedy. It's been a very long day. Thank you. Not only that. But today was my sales tax deadline, so I've been no. knee deep in Excel spreadsheets today uh, with some very hard. Wow! Look at Josephine B. This is gross, amazing. Yes. So we yeah. just believe you, Racine. Sullivan C. Thank you. Yes. Oof! And, um, wow. Here we go. Granny T. Claire um, is so nasty. I have no dog in this fight, just the money this keyboard warrior has donated. Thank you, Dora Explorer. Thank you so much, yeah, Dora we, we're, we're still doing what we've, we're, we've always said we're doing. Mm -hmm. And um, we're not going to stop that, no matter what happens. Nope. And this is not the first time this has happened, guys. There, there's road bumps on this road that happen uh, since... There's road bumps on the road? Boy, is he nervous. Instances where something like this has happened. Oh, it thank happens. you, Steph. It's part of... The the it's we're we're all here. Yes, the two a, founders of the foundation are now unfoundedly fla floundering. Thing, but we do agree that we're exposed. Yeah, thanks, Bo Beats. So that's what we're gonna do, no matter yep. what. Yep. You guys are great work. We got your back. Thank you, Kells thanks. Bells. We appreciate it. This um, isn't Osa, Mike. Okay. You don't um, rule this roost, anybody? sweetie. After all, this community <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to did for you, Mike. A little humility okay. would be uh, a better KJ, look. KJ, wow. Look at Mike Rinder looking um, at that, at Bo um, Beats' Kaz thing. Kaz Ferns. Okay, this is oh, controversial, but we'll do yeah. it. Kaz Ferns said, my big question. Got to get the laugh distraction for everybody. Love you all so much. Thanks for all you do. Pecan or pecan? Pecan. 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 Sorry, my uh, it's my timer. It says it's time to do something. Thank you, Kaz Fern. <laughs> I say pecan, pecan. Apollo pecan. Mandos. Pecan. Yeah, I think pecan. Yeah. Get over here. Pecans. I would say pecan, but I'd be lying. Awesome, Honey Bunny. I I used to call Claire that sometimes um, after the Pulp Fiction movie. Hey, Honey uh -huh. Bunny. Um, yeah, that was good work, guys. I will continue to support. You did it. And any any. <laughs> and any See, that's what we need to do. If we're a community, we can go in and do that. Then we make some impact. What we do is we're getting people to ask the questions. We're not going in there rude. We're not going in there hot. We're going in there and saying, hey, these are the questions we have. We put money into this. Where are you guys? Why aren't you doing this? 
Thank you, RL. Thank we appreciate you, RL. it. Thank you, RL. We really appreciate it. This Andrea is, Russo, super this, sticker. This year has been a roller coaster ride. Let's just call it spade a spade. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, there's that's, you know. And so it continues. Anthony Ferrer arrested in Beverly Hills. SPTV's Aaron Smith Levin leaves the board. Apparently, here they're saying that he lied. Aaron lied. Imagine that. <laughs> like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me. I'll see you on the next one. I want to thank you guys for joining me. And we are going to see you on the next one. If you like this video, make sure you like it. From Los Angeles, baby. City of Angels. Let's That's go. me. Let's yeah. do it. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work, share this out with a friend. Work nine. If the shit I appreciate sour, you guys. You mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter.